And good afternoon, everyone. This is Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. My name is Jim, and this is the Friday Afternoon QSO VLOG Network. If at any time during this net should an emergency arise, please notify Net Control, and we'll stand by and allow those in need to access this frequency. Is there any priority or emergency traffic at this time? And hearing nothing, we will continue. This net is all about ham radio and being all that you can be. That's what our QSO VLOG network is all about. Trying to help people achieve the best sounding station possible. Thanks for dropping by. FYI, my background is 50 years in commercial broadcasting, where a lot of big bucks are spent on audio processing equipment and getting it set up correctly to get the best sounding station possible. Well, long story short, when I became a ham radio operator, I could hear immediately a large discrepancy in on-air technical proficiency. A lot of stations were running with very poor mic equalization, very muddy, with little articulation. And as I continued to work stations, I realized most of the stations were also running very low average peak modulation, many around 30% of average peak modulation. So with my background, I felt I could help, or at least try. I knew that most modern-day ham transceivers did have enough onboard processing equipment to be able to offset most of the problems, so it would just be a matter of developing a generic dynamic range setup procedure and then adjusting the onboard EQ gear. And so I started the QSO VLOG network with the phrase, if you have a radio you want to check out, give us a shout. And today, we're currently featuring over 2,900 QSO VLOG air check recordings. And you can access these recordings by going to YouTube and doing a call letter search for KC9VKV followed by the word logbook. That's Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, followed by the word logbook. And we also have a newer series called KC9VKV Highlights. That's Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, followed by the word highlights on a YouTube search. These are some of our less technical and more human nature philosophical kinds of QSOs. That's KC9VKV, followed by the word highlights on a YouTube search. Both KC9VKV Logbook and KC9VKV Highlights are segments of our main YouTube homepage of Jim's Radio Story where we're celebrating a 50-year career in commercial broadcasting. A 50-year journey from a 5-watt pirate radio station as a 12-year-old to production director of a major 50,000-watt AM broadcast facility. And the thing that makes this truly a unique story is that I have all the actual masters from all along the way. Over 2,600 shows, including many full-length major music concerts and radio documentaries. You'll have to check it out and subscribe. Jim's Radio Story on a YouTube search. Our mission statement for the QSO VLOG network is to establish a higher technical level of radio transmissions of the human voice by the intelligent utilization of available electronics in current amateur radio transceivers. Our setup, while generic in nature, converts the average 10 dB dynamic range transmitter with an average 30% of peak modulation to a much fuller 3 dB dynamic range with an average 80 to 85% of peak modulation. This substantial boost in audio transmit level is extremely beneficial in high noise levels and heavy QRM. It allows you to punch through when others fail. The second part of our transmitter setup has to do with proper mic equalization. We're looking to optimize the transmitted voice for a higher degree of intelligibility through the use of EQ patterns that bring out the articulation aspects of the human voice. Again, why need to hear the voice if you can't understand the words? Also this afternoon on the receive side, we're running five internet SDR receivers monitoring New York, Pennsylvania, Georgia and Virginia specifically, and in addition, we're running our new number 5 Hocus Pocus Internet SDR receiver, loaded with 50 additional pre-programmed Internet SDR locations, spread out over 20 states across the eastern half of the United States, trying to get the best copy from our 100-watt friends. 
Now, the audio from these five SDR receivers comes up on a sixth position rotary selector. Also in this selector is our local receiver audio. And today, our local receiver is running three large 10-foot vertical magnetic loop antennas. One aimed at zero degrees, one aimed at 90 degrees, and the number three is aimed at 134 degrees. These are run as a directional scanner array with a manual voting system six-position rotary selector. Also today on the transmit side, we'll be running our no SWR specially oriented resonant tuned dipole antenna. One leg of this resonant tuned dipole antenna runs broadside to Montreal, Canada. The other leg runs broadside to Miami, Florida. As we were constructing our station, our mantra was 20 over from Montreal to Miami with a hot spot through the Carolinas. And although conditions may vary, the general performance of this antenna supports its mission. Also today we'll be running our input source indicator. So when we switch from an internet SDR receiver to our local receiver, you'll be able to hear the switch and see the switch. You'll have to check it out on our YouTube QSO VLOG video. As we come together for another Friday afternoon QSO VLOG network, let us pause just a moment for the amateur radio operator's prayer. Lord, we pray for clear 20 over S9 communications today, that all our transmissions fill the air and reach their destinations QSA 5 to be understood by all. And as we pray for good radio conditions, let us also pray for good human conditions. During this time of pandemic that has challenged us all, we pray that you will protect everyone, especially our elderly. And also, Lord, we seek your divine intervention to bring peace to a very divided United States. As we go through a very conflicting time in America's history, with dark clouds all around, we pray that you will reduce life's daily political QRM between our brothers and sisters. And through your love and guidance, show us the way to find peace and harmony. Help us to communicate with one another 20 over S9. Thank you, Lord, and God bless and protect America. Amen. To continue, since this part of the band has many nets trying to operate in a very confined area, I would appreciate all stations checking into our QSO VLOG net to keep their band pass to no wider than 100 to 2900. And again, please, no wider than 100 to 2900. This is the Friday afternoon QSO VLOG network. And this is uh, normally where I would uh, uh, call Charlie K1GZL to join us, but uh, Charlie's on medical leave uh, for the moment. Not exactly sure uh, when he'll be back. So, without further ado, let's uh, open it up and see who's out there. This is uh, KC9VKV, the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Net. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Roger, Roger, station calling. Come back slowly, phonetically, with your call sign. Phonetically, with your call sign. Kilo, Kilo, 7, Bravo, Whiskey, Quebec. Bravo, Whiskey, Quebec. Roger, Roger, what's the name there? Roger, Roger, what's the name there? Hey, the name on this end is Jim. I'm in Bevin, North Carolina. Roger, Roger, uh, Jim, and uh, what uh, radio are you running? Roger, Roger, I've got pretty good copy on you, but uh, uh, you never know. Uh, if you could, uh, why don't you give me about 10, or 10 seconds or so and tell me about your antenna system, and I'll look around and see if I can find us a better path, Roger. It's a better path, Roger. Uh, Roger that. Well, I'm up on uh, Milford, PA now, and uh, you're about uh, 5 dB over their noise level. So, uh, so the 7300 setup, um, uh, first you would want to check to be sure you're in that wide transmit bandwidth, TBW, 
wide. Uh, it's 100 to 2900 if you would be interested. That uh, makes uh, sure that your transmitter is operating at its peak uh, uh, menu, uh, well, peak uh, ability. Uh, maximum capabilities actually uh, anything else less than that and that you start to roll off the top and th therein lies the intelligibility so w on that 7300 we want to get that one in uh, you know 100 to 2900 Roger Roger you know 100 to 2900 Roger Roger yeah I'm in uh, transmit uh, bandwidth wide of 100 to, to 2900 uh, my uh, base is minus 5 treble plus 3 Roger that, roger that. Okay, the, then after uh, we make sure we're in that uh, wide uh, transmit bandwidth, we move to the uh, compressor, the, uh, lim the, <laughs> the compressor, want the compressor on at a three. On that 7300, compression on at a three, roger. Compression on at a three, roger. All right, but let's just try this uh, for kicks. Uh, uh, put that uh, uh, compressor on at a three, Roger, Roger. Uh, compressor on at a three, Roger, Roger. Okay, compression on at a three, and then uh, move to your ALC with mic gain in hand, and uh, you may have to turn it up all the way. It doesn't matter whatever you know, whatever you have to do to uh, get that level. But uh, we're looking for uh, a mid scale to two thirds. Actually, uh, we're looking for two thirds on the ALC meter. If you just uh, say the word audio, like you would say in any uh, normal QSO, don't stress it. Just say it and uh, turn your uh, mic gain up to uh, where you get uh, two thirds deflection on your ALC meter, Roger. You're getting 75% deflection on your ALC, is that a roger? 5% deflection on your ALC, is that a roger? Roger, roger. Yes, sir. That's the best way, uh, right there. Uh, uh, because, you know, if uh, you're getting higher on that, uh, uh, that compressor, it starts to suck up between words. And the suck up between words doesn't do you any good. You want to suck up on the words. So a three does that any thing past that uh, starts to suck up where you don't, don't really need it and you hear people fighting in the background and all kinds of stuff. So a three is the magic word on the compressor and then uh, you know you're in 100 percent whatever it is whatever it takes to uh, make uh, two-thirds on the ALC meter from your uh, mic gain. Roger. ALC meter from your uh, mic gain. Roger. Yeah, Jim, I wish I had a better copy on you uh, that I could go into the EQ with you, but uh, I just don't have a good enough copy to actually uh, to uh, suggest uh, anything on the, EO, the uh, uh, equalization because I just can't hear you that well, Roger. Equalization because I just can't hear you that well, Roger. Roger, Jim. It sounds, from what I can hear, it sounds pretty good. Uh, uh, your uh, your ALC uh, looks to be about uh, three uh, uh, dB, uh, you know, and uh, that's a good uh, eighty to eighty-five percent uh, peak modulation, and so that's good. And uh, the EQ, from what I can hear, uh, sounds sounds good also. So maybe uh, next Friday, if you get a chance to uh, uh, join me, we'll be hopefully. Uh, Mother Nature will cooperate, uh, and I'll be able to hear you a little cleaner to, uh, you know, hear you exactly on your uh, your EQ, Roger. Exactly.
exactly on your uh, your EQ, Roger. Roger, Jim, you kind of faded out there, buddy. But uh, like I say, uh, you know, the way to, to set it up there is exactly what we did. And uh, uh, even though you're at 100%, uh, the mic needs that gain. And we want to run that uh, compressor at that th at 3. So, uh, you know, uh, I think you're ideally set up. You can hit, uh, uh, you know, uh, the right uh, level on your AOC meter. And uh, so that's the main thing uh, after we, you know, do the uh, compression setup. So I think you're in good shape all the way through. Uh, and I, I think from what I heard again, I think your EQ is uh, right on also, Roger. And I think your EQ is uh, right on also, Roger. Roger, Roger, Jim. Uh, let me say 73 to you, sir. And if you want to hear your audio, well, what we managed to get of it, if you uh, go to YouTube and do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, that will uh, take you uh, to this recording. It'll be cut number one in a, a series of 2900, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. Roger. So, uh, Jim73, sir, have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend, and uh, join us next Friday, and we'll uh, tackle that last part. This is the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Network. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. A radio you want to check out, give me a shout. I'm with KKO Yankee, WA7, WKY. Whiskey Kilo Yankee, Roger, Roger, and what's the name there? Whiskey Kilo. Roger, Roger, and what's the name there? Uh, Barry is the name. Barry, and I'm located in Cincinnati, Ohio. You're five nine in Cincinnati. Roger, Roger, Barry, and what radio are you running today, sir? Roger, Roger, Barry, and what radio are you running today, sir? I'm using a Heathkit Sugar Baker 401 uh, and Henry 1K25 amp, a thousand watts. Roger, so I've got about uh, 3 dB copy on uh, my uh, Milford PASDR. I haven't checked yet my other antennas. Uh, uh, why don't you give me about 10 seconds, tell me about your antenna system, and let me look around for a better path for us, Roger. Antenna system, and let me look around for a better path for us, Roger. Good now. Yeah, go ahead and uh, give me a little uh, information about your antenna system. And, uh, give me a little uh, information about your antenna system. Uh, um, it's up about 30 feet, and uh, I'm using a Heathkit uh, SB401 exciter into a Henry amp at about 800 watts PEP. Yes, sir. I um, got you on my local antenna at about uh, 15 or 20 hours, so you're sounding good there. Uh, and uh, what I would like for you to do, if you're interested in our setup, uh, you say exciter, is that... Uh, I'm not really sure, uh, 401, is that like, uh, explain that to me. I, I know that some people use uh, like uh, some of those uh, older uh, uh, transceivers just for the uh, transmitter part to excite uh, uh, a higher uh, 
um, uh, power amp. Is that that uh, situation with you? Yeah, it's a, a standalone uh, transmitter. It's uh, part of a heat kit uh, heat kit station where I have a, a different uh, receiver, another a heat kit receiver, and this is a heat kit transmitter I'm using now into a uh, into an amplifier. So it's standalone uh, by itself. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Uh, okay, I heard just a little hum in the background. Not much, but just down there around uh, maybe uh, 20 down from, from your voice peaks. Uh, but uh, I think that uh, you could use a little more compression, just a, a little bit there. We usually suggest a, a 3 out of 10 or 30 out of 100, just uh, something that you never really hear on the air, but it helps you uh, become a little bit fuller, doesn't suck up between the words. That's the main thing. Roger? Okay, I'm, I'm using an older transmitter, as I said, it's a uh, Heathkit SP-401. I may be overdriving the amp, I don't know, but uh, anyway, you're 5'9 here, and thank you very much for the, uh, for the contact. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And like I say, you do have just a little bit of hum in that background, so I'm not sure whether it's uh, your uh, mic uh, connection into your, uh, you know, into the front end of the... Uh, uh, exciter, or, or that's probably where it is. It sounds like something like that, Roger. Okay, very good. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate the uh, the help, and I hope you have a good day. And thank you very much for the contact. Yes, sir, Barry. And if you want to hear your audio, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for KC9VKV followed by the word logbook. That will take you to this recording. It'll be cut number one in the series of 2900, and I'll have it uploaded to YouTube by noon tomorrow. Roger. Okay, very good, sir. Thank you very much, and you have a good day, and I appreciate the contact. Yes, sir. And uh, what kind of mic are you running there? I'm using an electro voice. Uh, electro voice microphone. Uh, I got, got in the mid-70s, I bought it. Roger, Roger. I was just wondering if uh, maybe um, if you might work that mic a little bit uh, tighter and then pull down your audio level, if that might uh, might shift that uh, hum back into the background. You know, uh, working that mic a little tighter, but, but uh, probably only if you might have a foam windscreen around to, uh, you know, bust up the uh, mouth noise and stuff. Roger? Okay, let's see here. I'm going to I guess this is this is the max uh, audio level I'm I'm using I'm I'm topping the ALC right now. So how does that sound? Yes, sir. Home level is still there. Why don't you come up? Uh, give me a ten count. Slowly fade your your uh, mic level out, and we'll see if uh, that's uh, where if it's coming in the front end. Okay. Uh, this WA7WKY. I'm decreasing the uh, mic level. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, it seemed like the hum level was going down as you counted down. I, I wanted you to count down all the way to off and uh, see if we get rid of all of that hum, and then we know where to look for the problem. Okay, I'm continuing on down now uh, uh, from where I was before. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm all the way. Yes, sir. The uh, the hum level went down. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, it would go down, but it seemed to be related to the uh, the front end, Roger. Okay. Well, thank you very much. I, 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 I've I've heard comments like that before in this old radio, but uh, I try to keep it uh, aligned the best I can. So I appreciate the comments. Yes, sir. Uh, just trying to think. Uh, there's a, there's a ground loop there uh, somewhere in that audio section, and uh, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, uh, do you have your uh, exciter grounded to uh, your power amp or something? Yeah, it's, it's all grounded. The amp the amp is grounded as well. Yes, sir. I would suggest maybe playing with your ground radios or your grounding situation, and uh, and not. Uh, 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 ground your exciter uh, to the same ground that you're using for your uh, power amp. If you can run up uh, two different uh, ground systems, one especially for the power amp, 
of course, usually uh, you would associate uh, power amp with, uh, um, you know, audio or RF in the audio, but uh, sometimes you can get a ground loop between uh, radios. And, uh, you know, if you run a separate ground for the power amp, and a separate ground uh, for your uh, radio and everything else, uh, sometimes that alleviates uh, some problems, Roger. Okay, I'm disconnecting the ground off the exciter now, so just give me a second. Okay, I've disconnected. Uh, I've disconnected the ground off the exciter. Well, no hum. Okay, so that's that's the problem, I guess. Roger. Now, do you have a, a compressor on that exciter that you could give me a little more compression? I don't have a compressor on it, but I can jack up the audio just a bit. That's maximum on the audio level right there. Uh, Roger, Roger. Well, uh, I think you're doing. Do you have an ALC meter uh, on that uh, exciter? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm taking the ALC right now. Uh, well, I don't want you to go into the into the red. I'm looking just about for uh, two thirds on that ALC meter, Roger. Okay, let's see. We'll back it off a little bit. Okay, there. I backed it off a little bit. Does that sound better? Yes, sir. I, w I wish you had a compressor so you could force just about three more dB. Uh, 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 but I understand, you know, that it's uh, you. You don't really have that. You're relying on your your uh, ALC uh, the, the limiter aspects to uh, to get uh, the compression. Uh, so uh, you know that's probably about as best you, you you you're saying that you don't have a a good compressor, Roger, or you don't have a compressor in the in the circuit for that radio. No, there's no compressor at all. It sounds really good. I, I just run it just like that, uh, frankly. And uh, you, uh, like I said, we were recording. We'll have this up uh, to YouTube by noon tomorrow, and uh, so you can hear what we're doing right now, Roger. Okay, but the hum is gone, you say? Yes, sir. It sounds clean. And uh, if you work it, uh, work that mic just like you're doing. I think it sounds gangbusters, Roger. Okay. Well, I appreciate the information. I thank you very much. K uh, K T uh, nine uh, Victor Kilo. Uh, Victor, W-A-7-W-K-Y. Roger, Roger. Now, now, but I would say this one thing, that uh, you do seem to have uh, some different uh, audio levels going on as you uh, work that mic. So you'd be better off, since you don't really have a limiter, that you'd, you keep consistency in your approach to the microphone. And I wish you had, an, you know, uh, uh, the ALC meter out, over a period of time so you can see exactly uh, uh, where that sweet spot is and try to keep uh, uh, keep your audio in the sweet spot. Roger. Okay, very good. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. What was your name? Uh, Jim here, KC9VKV, and this is the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Net. Roger. Uh, the, is it called QS, QSO Vlog Net? It's uh, KC9 VKV uh, Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor and the QSO Vlog Net. Uh, we have uh, helped people uh, uh, get the best out of their transmitters, Roger. Okay, good, gotcha. Okay, well, thank you, Jim. I appreciate that. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll reset this thing up that way to leave the ground off. That sounds better. Okay, well, I appreciate your comments. Thank you very much. Roger, Roger Berry, 73, sir. Have a great afternoon. Beautiful weekend. This is the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Net. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Kilowatt Echo 9, Victor Romeo. Victor Romeo Station, come back slowly, phonetically with your call sign. Kilowatt Echo 9, Victor Romeo. Roger, Victor Romeo, and the name there? Uh, Victor Romeo, you kind of faded out a little bit. Uh, come back with that name again. Uh, name is Sam, Sugar Alpha Mike. Sam, and you are 59 plus 20 in Northeast Indiana. Roger, Sam, and I'm on my uh, 
my uh, Louisville uh, antenna. That's uh, my local antenna on a 7300. And um, if we could, why don't you give me about uh, uh, 10 seconds and tell me about your antenna system, and I'll look around and see if I can find uh, a better path for us, Roger. Uh, QSL, yep. Yes, sir. So I'm on my local antenna. You got just a little bit of fading. Uh, I'm going to try to get to my uh, my Kentucky uh, SDR. Uh, oh shoot! Back in a back in a queue on that man. I tell you what, this people are really starting to use uh, SDRs. Uh, I remember uh, when we started about four years ago, you know, it was wide open. You could go anywhere at any time and not have a problem. And now uh, a lot of them are, are full up at the, you know, and you uh, have to uh, take a number, take a, take a seat, Roger. <laughs> about anywhere I can get in. <laughs> Fishing is kind of like going to SDRs. A lot of those places are taken already, so you just have to find one that one that isn't. Uh, well, I've listened to your audio there, and you, you really have a severe lack of low frequencies. And the thing is, uh, you need to, to get some low there because uh, you, you uh, get very thin when you uh, chop that much off the bottom end. I usually, you know, I'm all for the top end, and I'm usually telling them to crank up that top end. I may, you know, might tell you to crank in the top end, but uh, I would want to get a little more on the bottom end first. Uh, sounds like it might be cutting out at about uh, about 400 cycles or so. So, you know, when, when you get into a QSO, you would think that our uh, a contest or, or whatever, you know, or heavy QRM, you would think that uh, I want to sharpen this thing up. Sometimes you can sharpen up so much that you actually uh, start to become weak. So I would say a little more on the bottom end would be my my choice and uh, if that radio has a compressor I would say a 3 out of uh, 10 or 30 out of 100 uh, depending on uh, which uh, it has and how it's labeled Roger uh, yeah well it's, uh, it's a basic uh, radio from the 70s and it has no uh, ALC or compression it's just uh, you know uh, transmitter gain and, and uh, receive you know I am running a uh, Turner microphone that I got from my father, and I note that it's got a Heil mic in it, and I just wonder if that's having something to do with it. Uh, it could be, because it's really, really sharp. And like I say, it's, it sounds like it's cutting out at about uh, 400 cycles. And you really want to take it down there uh, to about uh, 250, uh, uh, 270, uh, right in there. Um, uh, trying to think uh, uh, not, it does not obviously have any EQ so uh, maybe uh, tr let's just try this as an experiment uh, come up on that mic uh, more you know right up on that mic and let's see how much uh, uh, we can get as far as uh, the bottom end Roger oh Roger that okay well I'm right into the mic uh, let me uh, it does have a volume control here I think that's for the high mic but uh, I'm about uh, 11 o'clock on that dial, so I'm going to turn it down uh, as I'm speaking here now to where it's And now back up because I saw that uh, the plate meter went to zero also, so you probably dropped out there, over. Yes, sir, it did. Now, uh, you do have a mic gain control, Roger. Uh, uh, negative, no mic gain control. 
control. Is that right? How do they... Uh, huh. It sounds like a two meter or, uh, you know, 70 centimeter radio where, the, you know, you don't have any uh, volume control. Uh, okay, so normally I would suggest, uh, you know, putting your uh, your radio uh, mic gain at about uh, 50 or me medium level and then turn up your other mic uh, to uh, to 100% on your radio uh, because uh, sometimes with power mics uh, you can turn them up so far as to overdrive uh, the front end of the preamp in your radio and uh, you know you would be down to like a one on your radio and a nine on your or a ten on your preamp and and you could be uh, overloading your uh, uh, your mic preamp in the radio, but uh, what I would suggest then is uh, uh, w uh, what radio, uh, what level are you running your uh, exterior mic? Uh, it's, it's at a, uh, a 12 o'clock. Uh, 12 o'clock. All right, uh, let's uh, try that at uh, 2 o'clock and see where it goes. Okay, we've turned it up to 2 o'clock now, and it's uh, I see the plate meter is bouncing around uh, about Full game, I guess. Over. Roger, Roger. Well, your audio came up, but not necessarily. Uh, uh, you know, uh, it still has a little distortion. Uh, what level are you on that uh, outboard mic now? Uh, on a two o'clock. On a two o'clock. Uh, you know, analog clock. Yes, sir. Uh, well. It sounds pretty good to me. Uh, you know, it's, it, it does have some good top end. It sounds a little fuller to me. So, uh, although you don't have an ALC meter, uh, you do have uh, uh, ALC function going on in, in that radio, and then you're forcing your audio against that, that limiter. Roger, Roger. Okay, well, it, uh, I think he, he uh, put this high OE in because he did a lot of DX, and I think uh, the higher pitch... Uh, uh, was enabling him to get through and uh, break through some of the pileups. Over. Yes, sir. Uh, well, it it uh, it really sounds like a a a, uh, a D104. If you're familiar with that, it sounds very much like a D104. Roger. Uh, Roger. Well, he had one of those. Uh, I may have it in a, a box that's uh, uh, about the size of somewhere, but uh, I've never used it. Over. Yes, sir. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have uh, the hand mic that uh, came with that radio, would you? Uh, negative. I, I don't believe it ever came with a hand mic. Uh, uh, when I got the radio, uh, I can't remember what mic I had originally back then. Uh, but anyhow, I, I don't remember it ever having a hand mic over. Ah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, uh, like I say, it is, uh, you know, it is very sharp, and uh, you might uh, think about getting a, another hand, a hand mic for that radio. Is that, uh, that would be um, a, a dynamic uh, microphone that normally would come with that radio. Roger? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, you know, a hand mic probably wouldn't be that much uh, for that for that radio, you know, uh, and that would probably give you a a better response uh, audio uh, capability than the than the mic that you're on, as far as uh, the lower frequencies. I wouldn't, uh, you know, uh, or uh, replace the cartridge with a uh, a, a uh, Turner. Turner cartridge, that would be the ideal, Roger. That wouldn't probably cost you that much. Oh, Roger. Well, uh, I may uh, look into that and uh, see what that's going to take. Uh, I appreciate the information, Jim, and uh, uh, I guess we'll just leave this thing set the way it is for the time being. Uh, and I'll, uh, I'll say, uh, I hope you catch a lot of fish. Over. 
<laughs> roger, roger. And I hope you uh, catch uh, some uh, DX on that uh, that radio. And we'll be posting uh, this uh, recording up on YouTube by noon tomorrow. If you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, that will take you to this recording. And this will be cut number one in a series of 2,900. So 73 there. You have a great afternoon and a beautiful weekend. Roger. Okay, where, where are you located, Jim? Uh, we're down around Louisville, Kentucky. We're on the Indiana side of the Ohio River, right at Louisville. Okay, very good. 73s, have a great weekend. Roger, Roger. And I'm using a uh, 7300 uh, to uh, copy the mail, and it's probably as close to uh, perfect as far as uh, uh, being able to say what's really going on. Uh, so, uh, you know, when you listen to that audio, you you'd be, the, be the judge of what you think. 73, sir. This is the Friday afternoon, Kiso Vlognet. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Kilo, Oscar 4, Tango, India Echo, KO4, CIE. Kilo, Oscar 4, uh, give me the, uh, the, your call sign slowly, phonetically again. Alrighty, and what's the name there? Ah, I'm doing real good. Uh, just I uh, heard you talking. Uh, the, you were on an ICOM 7300, you said. Uh, I'm on an ICOM 718 using an antenna tuner. I have one of those antennas I just put up that happen to have an antenna tuner. And uh, I'm just kind of curious how I'm doing. I'm doing 100 watts. Just kind of curious how my how I'm doing, uh, how you're receiving me. Roger, Roger. What's the name there? What uh, is your name? Oh, I'm sorry. My name is Christopher. <laughs> My name is Christopher. Roger, Christopher. And uh, that uh, 718, is that a newer radio or an older radio? No, I think uh, the ICOM 718, it was, uh, it, uh, it, it, uh, they quit producing it a few years ago. Uh, it's been uh, produced up to a few years ago, and uh, now it's not being, uh, it's not being produced. But uh, it seems to be, uh, it's a pretty good workhorse. It seems like uh, really nice, simple features uh, for somebody getting into HF, you know, like it's with me. And I just got my general license uh, about a month ago, and so this is my first ham radio. Yes, sir. Well, there's a thing called uh, transmit bandwidth. Uh, it's, uh, you know, uh, common on newer radios. I don't know if yours has it, but we want to be in the highest uh, transmit bandwidth as we can be in, which allows your transmitter to operate as best as possible. You might take note about that and look for it. It's it's uh, transmit bandwidth, TBW, and we're looking for 100 to 2900. 100 to 2900 on your transmit bandwidth or the best transmit bandwidth that you can get uh, if you have selectable, and if you don't, you just have to t go with what you got. <laughs> but anyway, uh, our setup procedure is uh, a compressor limiter, uh, I'm sorry, compressor um, processor on at uh, 3 out of 10, or 30 out of 100, depending on how it's uh, labeled, Roger. Yeah, copy that, copy that. Thank you. Say hello to you, and, uh, and uh, just uh, thank you very much, and you have a wonderful evening. This is Kilo Oscar 4, Tango, India. Echo. Roger, Roger. Well, we do uh, have a, a, you know, a couple of other things that you might be able to work on to uh, facilitate a better uh, uh, operation for your transmitter. Uh, and that would be to uh, uh, check out your AOC level to be sure your modulation level is correct. And that is uh, go to your AOC meter with mic gain in hand. And as you say the word audio, Adjust your ALC meter to where it reads uh, two thirds or seven, depending on which comes first, Roger. Yeah, Roger. Yeah, I have it right now. My ALC uh, is at a uh, let's see. Well, it's right on the end of the line. It's right at the line. It's on a nine. Roger, Roger. Uh, so you're you're just to the right of uh, middle scale on your ALC. Is that a Roger? 
Yes, sir. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm right at the line from going over uh, the ALC. Yes, sir. I'm right on the line from going over uh, where I think my understanding is supposed to be. Yes, sir. Well, my suggestion would be to keep that AOC uh, meter out so you can look at it as you're talking to your buddies and, and whatever, and uh, try to work that, uh, uh, that AOC meter to where you just keep it in the sweet spot, and you can see where the sweet, sweet spot is. It's, uh, you know, uh, at two-thirds, and uh, the idea is to try to keep it there with your voice as best as possible, uh, and that's also why we're running in three on your uh, compressor. It just helps just a little bit, uh, something that you won't hear uh, on the air, but uh, we want to try to keep that level up as uh, best we can. Roger. Roger, Roger, sir. Yeah, you faded out to me also. So uh, we'll say 73. You have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend, and uh, join us next Friday if you can. This is the Friday afternoon, QSO VlogNet. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Hello, check. This is KQ4MZS. See ya. That's uh, NVS, is that a Roger? No, Mike Zulu Sierra. Yeah, uh, phonetics, uh, give me your, your call sign in phonetics, uh, slowly, Roger. Roger, King, Queen, Four, Mike Zulu Sierra. Mike Zulu Sierra, Roger, Roger. All right, sir. Uh, I do not have a very good copy on you, but I got a little bit on my local antenna, but I could look around and see if we have a better copy elsewhere. If you uh, could give me a little bit of, tell me a little bit about your antenna system for about 10 seconds, and I'll look around. Roger. Roger, Roger, MLS, uh, what's the name there? Uh, Roger, Roger, MLS, uh, what's the name? How about you, MLS, uh, you got a copy? This is uh, the Friday afternoon kiss of VLAG net uh, in uh, MLS, uh, uh, what's the name there? In uh, MLS, uh, uh, what's the name there? Yeah, not copying. Uh, let me go to my uh, my uh, Kentucky uh, uh, SDR and uh, see if I can uh, copy you uh, you better there. Uh, it should take just a moment. Uh, KC9VKV, uh, and we're bringing up our Kentucky uh, SDR now. Oh, great! Never, not we can't get in now because it's it's busy. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm on my local antenna pretty much this afternoon. Uh, a lot of my stuff is not not working for whatever reason. Uh, what is uh, your location, MLS? Location is Bluntville, Tennessee. Roger, Tennessee. Uh, and what's the name there? Kino. Allen. Yes, sir, Allen. And uh, for the other party there, the frequency is in use. Frequency is in use. And Allen, I, my local antenna is doing pretty well at the moment, but I'm going to try uh, to get one of my Tennessee SDRs up and see how that goes. Uh, what radio are you running today? Roger that. Uh, I'm running a ICOM 7300. Uh, we're running it like 96 watts on a off-center dipole wire antenna. 
And uh, I was wondering if come back, uh, if you could uh, give me your call signs and name real slowly. Yes, sir. The name is Jim Juliet India Mike, and the call sign is Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor. That's uh, Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor. Roger. Roger that. Kilo, uh, Kilo Victor Victor. Roger, Roger. And uh, gosh, I still have a good copy on you. So, uh, uh, set up on that 7300 is uh, as follows. Uh, you want to be in that wide TBW? That's a 100 to 2900, Roger? Uh, I don't think I understand what you were asking or saying to me. I'm sorry. Okay, you have. Uh, let me get into my uh, radio here. You have a. Um, um, a. Uh, thing called TBW, and I'll tell you where it is just as soon as I uh, get into it. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. I'm looking for notes. I've got notes on that radio that uh, really are uh, very advantageous. Uh, I can find them. Today is one of those days. There we go. Okay, we're getting we're getting close now. <laughs> uh, looking uh, at your uh, meter there, this would be. Uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, Icom Radio 7300, uh, and it's uh, okay. Uh, the multi button. Uh, the round button at the upper right side of the display window takes you to set RF power output, and we want that at 100%. Set mic gain, uh, we'll work on that later. Set compression to 3. Uh, compression on at a 3. Uh, Roger. Roger. All right, and then, uh, let's see. The... Uh, the uh, menu button, the rectangular button at the lower side, uh, lower left side of the display takes you to set, which takes you to tone control, which takes you to transmit, which takes you to single sideband, and we'll get there, which takes you to transmit EQ. It also has takes you to TBW. And you have three selections on uh, TBW, and one of them is called Wide 100 to 2900. You're probably in that already, but you may not be. And that's why I you know, wanted you to check uh, to be sure that you're in that TBW, because if you're in lesser, one of those lesser uh, selections, you're rolling off the top end of that radio. Roger? Roger that. Uh, tell me, uh, I turned the power up to 100. Uh, Right now I'm trying to go to the menu and then do what? Hey, Jim. Yes, sir. K4GN, this is Brian. If he wants to take a shortcut, he can just uh, be in the regular screen, however, his beginning point. Go to function, and you'll see TBW, and he can just make it wide from that function, and he doesn't have to run through all that uh, other stuff. Pretty good shortcut. Okay, I did that. Uh, where the TBW is that wide. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, sir. That's exactly where we want to be, okay? And uh, then we, we want to get that uh, compressor on at a three. Roger, Roger. Okay, now I've, I've just got my life like a guy talking to me there before. I haven't had my license very long. I haven't had very many contacts. Probably because I'm not very uh, at ease with what I'm doing. And uh, I probably don't know how to do this multi. It's easy. The first, the first punch is power. The next, I don't know how to get the mic gain or the COMP or the monitor position. Just turn that, uh, turn that pot, turn that uh, multi button. I'm turning it, but all it's doing is turning the power up to 100 percent. All right. Uh, then uh, uh, let's see. Uh, Press it down and uh, keep turning it. I think I lost it. 
uh, should be able to, to uh, I think you press down on that button and, and, and turn it and your mic gain should come up. Uh, uh, no, it, uh, I pushed in and turned it and it, it wanted to change the frequency. Ah, uh, well, uh, this is the, uh, the multi-button, the round button at the upper right side of the uh, display window. Roger? Yeah. Yeah, uh, you push in on it once, it comes up with, comes up with RF power, it's up the right hand corner. Then under it, I can see Mike Gaines standing at 50% right now, and the COMP, it looks like 50%. And the monitor's at 50%. Well, actually, the COMP is set at 5. All right, we want to set the uh, compressor, COMP, to 3. Uh, set the compression level to 3. Roger. Roger on the 3, but I don't know how to get down to select it. That's the problem. Just touch it, put your finger on it, and it'll light up blue. Okay, set on 3. That was a uh, brain, you know what. Yes, sir, and we want that monitor off. Uh, set it to off. Okay, monitor is off. Compression's at 3. Mic gain's at 50%. And RF power's at 100%. Great. Now, what I want you to do is, uh, you're running the uh, hand mic uh, that came with that radio. I want you to pull it to the corner of your lips and talk across it. Do not talk directly into it. Talk it, uh, bring it to actually touch the corner of your lips and talk across it. Roger. Okay, I'm talking across it. Oh, wait a minute here. Uh, okay. I've uh, got my lips touching it and I'm talking across it. I pull it back further. Pull it back further towards the corner of your lips, Roger. Okay, this is the corner. Yes, that's that's where you want to be, right there, Roger. Okay, I got where we're at. All right. So uh, that um, uh, let's see, the menu button is that rectangular button at the lower left side of the display, takes you to set, which takes you to uh, tone control which takes you to transmit, which takes you to single sideband, uh, and uh, we want to do uh, uh, a little bit on the top end there, like about uh, plus three or four. Make it plus four on the top end. Uh, just a second. Up. If you go to menu, That's a transmit. Uh, listen again, I'll, I'll run through it one more time here. Um, the menu button, takes the rectangular button at the lower left side of the display, takes you to set, which takes you to tone control, which takes you to transmit, which takes you to single sideband, transmit EQ settings, and we're going to go plus four on your treble, Roger. Uh. Yeah, but when the first time I hit menu, it comes up with a selection that I don't see uh, transmit. I believe there's a thing here called voice transmit, the first thing it comes up with. I uh, should uh, take you to set, Roger. Okay, it's got a record slash set on the same screen that voice transmit is, and then I got one through eight choices. Uh, well, uh, normally if you would be in the, uh, you would just be going into the uh, multi-button at the, uh, uh, well, let's see here. If you would be going into the menu button, which is a uh, rectangular button at the lower left side of the display, that would take you to uh, set. Roger. Yeah, uh, I see it. It's got a wrench and a screwdriver on it. Okay, I'm punching it. Uh, but it comes up with time, SD card, and others. 
Yeah, I don't know why that would be. It should take you to uh, a tone control, Roger. Roger, I think. Uh, well, I think I'm at Voice TX tone control right now. It's got selections of T1 through T8. Uh, all right. Uh, so you're at uh, tone control. Is that a Roger? I don't know. It said Voice. I meant Voice Transmit. T1 through T8. And then it's got record set, and then it's got transmit level also. Huh. Uh, I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you there. Uh, uh, let's see. Um, I'm looking at my notes, uh, and uh, it has to do with... Uh, um, Let's see. The, the rectangular button at the lower left side of the display, which it does take you to set, Roger? Uh, not really. Well, it should. That's the... the, oh, the, the okay, uh, the menu button, which is that r rectangular button at the lower left side of this display, uh, which takes you to set, Roger. Okay, I've got a screen here now that says tone control. I don't know how I got there, but I'm at it. All right, so if it says tone control, then, which takes you to transmit, Roger? Hit tone control, which will take you to transmit. I keep losing it, just a second. Turned it up to plus three on the tone. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, you want to be uh, in transmit single sideband and uh, transmit EQ settings, Roger. Okay, that's where I'm at. There's a whole uh, thing of settings here that's uh, got transmit bass, transmit treble. I'm already in single sideband. TWB wide and TWB middle. Okay, so don't do anything until I tell you because you're right there. We want to take that. What's your treble reading right at the moment? Uh, zero. All right, take that to plus four. Take that uh, to your treble to plus four, Roger. Okay, there is treble to plus four. All righty. Now remember to uh, work that mic to the corner of your lips, Roger. I pull it. Uh, pull it a little bit further uh, towards the closer. Shoot. Um, don't pull it back quite so far. Let me hear you. Okay, I got it right up next to the mouth on the side. It travels first four. Yes, sir. I think that's going to uh, be about right there. I want you to tell me uh, in about ten or fifteen seconds the best thing you like about your radio. <laughs> I like the waterfall part of it. Tell you the truth. Uh, yeah, I have been doing this for a while. I just started in December now. I, I got to get used to it. Yes, sir. Roger, Roger. Well, you're sounding mighty good now. Uh, you got a good mod and uh, your uh, dynamic range is about 3 dB. So your average percent of peak modulation is 80 to 85 percent. Uh, and uh, the EQ uh, curve is uh, nice and intelligible. Roger. Roger. Uh, you said my signal strength to you is pretty, pretty, pretty sad. Uh, not right now. You're about uh, 10 or 15 over right now. So, you know, Mother Nature uh, uh, gives and takes, you know, and uh, usually is uh, can be stable or can be uh, unstable or whatever, you know, but it comes and goes. So right now you're at about 15 over, and I'm up around Louisville. Roger. Okay, did you want me to do anything with the base control on this transmit? Is it at zero? Uh, Roger. Uh, take it back one. Uh, back off a base uh, to a minus one. 
Okay, there's minus one. All right, and tell me about your antenna system. Okay, it's a 132-foot off-center set dipole pointed in the east-west direction. It's also 30 feet high. Roger, Roger. I would, uh, I would uh, run it just like that. And I want you to keep your um, your AOC meter out. And uh, you want to, you want to uh, try to keep it in the sweet spot uh, with your voice. You know, so as you're talking to your buddies or whatnot, uh, keep an eye on that AOC meter and try to keep it right at that two thirds mark. Roger. Roger that. And like I say, we'll have this uh, uploaded to YouTube by noon tomorrow. It'll be cut number one in a series of 2,900. And uh, so uh, we'll say 73 for now. Roger. What would I find that on YouTube? All right. If you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, that will take you to this recording. And that'll be cut number one in a series of 2,900. Roger. Roger. KC9, Victor, Kilo, uh, Charlie. Victor, Kilo, Victor. Kilo, Charlie 9, Victor, Kilo, Victor. Roger. All right, that's Victor, Kilo, Victor. After 1 o'clock tomorrow, it'll be there? After afternoon time. Okay, I really appreciate your help here, Jim. And uh, uh, this is uh, K -Cor K Q 4 mzs Clear. Thank you. Yes, sir. So uh, maybe you might be a little hot going into your. Uh, I tell you what, back. Oh, yeah, shoot, you can't back off. Uh, uh, do you know how to uh, get to your mic uh, gain control? Uh, it's a. Is it the AF knob here? It's the one to the. Uh, uh, let's see here. Set the uh, multi button, the round button at the upper right side of the display window. Roger. Okay, it takes you to power output, mic gain. That's where we want to go, mic gain. And we wanted to put that, yeah, I think you said you were at 50. And then, so you have an option of uh, laying back a little bit off your audio or turning that down to about uh, 45 or so. Okay, there it is at 45. Yeah, I think that'll do it fine. That'll do good. Uh, Roger, Roger. Roger. Thank you. Yes, sir. Now, you have a great afternoon, and uh, we'll see you uh, next Friday if uh, we get a chance. Uh, Roger, we'd love to have you. Okay. Thank you a lot there. Uh, very helpful. Roger, Roger. 73. This is the Friday afternoon QSO VLOGnet. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Uh, Jim, this is WA7WKY. I just want to make sure that the uh, hum is gone now. Uh, I think it is. Uh, you're in the clear now. Uh, uh, give me um, a, a little bit about your radio there and let me listen close. Yeah, we talked about it earlier. It's the uh, Sugar Baker 401 Heath Kit, and uh, I took the ground off, off it, and you said the hum was gone at that time. I just was double checking. I rearranged some ground cables and just wanted to see how it sounded. Yes, sir. Uh, the hum is gone. You could afford to uh, bring up your mic level a little bit to get a better, uh, fatter signal. Roger. Okay, very good. Well, that's, that's, uh, I'm uh, peeking right now on the uh, top of the ALC. So thank you very much, Jim, for your help before, and I'll listen to the, to the, uh, I'll look uh, on the uh, internet tomorrow uh, for, for the, uh, uh, the log book, and I'll listen at, uh, a little in the afternoon tomorrow. Thanks for your help. Uh, you've, been a, you've been a great uh, help, Jim. Thank you so much. And uh, KC9, Victor, Kilo, Victor, WA7, WKY. Roger. Now, I uh, did hear just a faint, faint, faint back in the background, way, way back there, and I never noticed it. You know, we hadn't been talking about it. It does seem to be just a little hum, but not much, not hardly any, uh, you know, like half a percent or something. And uh, I tell you, if you manage to get... A foam windscreen, uh, you can get them at any music store or whatever, get a foam windscreen for that microphone, then you can come up on that microphone and bring your uh, mic level down, and uh, that uh, that hum is associated with your mic level, Roger. Okay, well, very good. I appreciate that, uh, Jim. Thank you so much for your help today, and I hope you have a good, good afternoon. If you go fishing, good luck. <laughs> Roger, Roger. 73.
This is uh, the Friday afternoon kiss of Vlognet. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Mike Yankee Station, come back slowly, phonetically with your call sign. Kilo Delta 8, Kilo Mike Yankee. Kilo Mike Yankee, Roger, Roger. Did we, uh, what's the name? Uh, the name here is Glenn. Uh, I'm located in Flint, Michigan. Over. Roger, Roger. And uh, what radio are you running today? Uh, we're running uh, ICOM 756 Pro 3, uh, and uh, we're on a uh, homemade two-element Yagi. Uh, I just, just minutes ago, uh, dropped some uh, uh, MOSFET transistors into this amplifier, and uh, it seems to be working exactly what it's supposed to be doing, but uh, I was curious of uh, how the audio and signal was there, over. Yes, sir. I <laughs> I tell you what, man. I've had a hard time. I my uh, I I have a bunch of uh, SDR receivers, and uh, about half of them have quit for the day. I, I don't know what what it is. I'm, you know, some days are like that, I guess. But uh, I, I wish I had a better copy on you. Uh, I tell you what. Uh, let me just see if I can uh, um, give me about ten seconds and tell me about your antenna system, and I'll check uh, Milford, PA. Roger. Right. My antenna is uh, pointed south, uh, pointed south from Michigan here, and I mean, yeah, pointed south from Michigan, and uh, I don't know where, exactly where you're at, but uh, I've got uh, almost 10 to 15 over on you. Uh, I'm not using uh, an SDR, I'm just uh, going with the radio. And the Yagi is a two-element, uh, uh, I guess you could call it a phased array. It's two separate. Uh, rotatable dipoles mounted on a mast with, uh, and they're phased together uh, on a, a 15 foot mast and uh, and it's up uh, it's up about 30 feet over oh roger that well if you want to turn it south uh, we're uh, down around Louisville Kentucky we are uh, on the Indiana side of the Ohio River right at Louisville so uh, uh, that would be uh, south from you I guess from you, I guess. Roger that. I got a beautiful signal on you and another fellow come in there and said I was uh, 20 over as well. Well, I guess she's working. I I, uh, I ordered uh, transistors from China and they're, they're, they're Motorola, so I guess they're, they're good. I, uh, I trust them uh, more than I would something I can't read the name of. But okay, Jim, well, thanks. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, like I say, we're, we're two elements pointed south right now. And uh, it's only about 30 feet. The radio is an old ICOM 756 Pro 3. And, uh, and yeah, I need one of them wind, wind guards to go on my PR-40 here. Uh, I had one, but it ha over the years it kind of got destroyed. But it uh, looks like I'm going to have to... And our music store here shut down about three years ago around town here. So I guess there's always Amazon, but uh, hopefully uh, it sounds all right in your area. Over. Yes, sir. Amazon, you'd have it uh, the next day. They're just they're just great about that. And uh, then uh, you know, but, but uh, you could use a little more top end. I mean, like uh, uh, 27, 2.7 k, 2.7 kilohertz uh, a boost is the ideal frequency to to a boost uh, at about uh, three clicks uh, from where you are. Three clicks boost from where you are at uh, 2.7 kilohertz. Uh, treble boost, Stretcher. You are at uh, 2.7 kilohertz. Uh, treble boost, Stretcher. Uh, Roger, I did. I just now, uh, I just now made that adjustment. Hopefully, it helped it over. Yes, sir. You have a little more sibilance, and that really helps your articulation, Roger. I'm an ex, ex uh, I want to outboard really helps your equalizer. I'm an IHY 8-band equalizer there, and we increased probably a little bit more treble there for you. Over. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We doubled there for a little bit, but uh, yeah, that really helps your articulation. The uh, syllabic range, uh, which is where our, most of the intelligibility occurs, uh, so you are, have improved your your uh, EQ curve, Roger. You uh, have improved your your uh, EQ 
Roger, thank you. Oh, Roger, Roger. Well, thank you very much, Jim, and I really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, I guess I got one of them little fur critters that likes to get up and lay down uh, on, on the equalizer every now and then when I'm not looking and, uh, and make some adjustments for me. But, uh, all right, well, thank you, and, uh, yeah, and I uh, just uh, want to appreciate the, the help out here on the, on the frequency. Uh, so with that, I'll go ahead and say 7-3. Thanks, thanks for the help. Uh, Kilo Delta 8, Kilo Mike Anki, 7-3. Roger, Roger, and the uh, name is Glenn, is that a Roger? Roger, Roger, and the uh, name is Glenn, is that a Roger? Uh, Roger, Glenn, uh, over. Roger, Glenn, uh, let me say 73 to you, sir. And, uh, gosh, if you uh, want to hear your audio, if you go to YouTube, do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, will take you to this recording. It'll be cut number one in a series of 2,900, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. Roger? Series of 2,900, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. Roger? Ah, oh, Roger, Roger. What is the uh, word? Uh, I got the site, but my book, is it called? Or my voice, what is it called? Logbook, logbook, like uh, where you're filling out things right now, logbook, Roger. So it's KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook on a YouTube search. VKV, followed by the word logbook on a YouTube search. Gotcha, got, gotcha. Thank you very much, Jim, and uh, have a great day. And we'll be looking forward to that. 7-3. Roger, Roger, Glenn, 73, sir. And, uh, gosh, if uh, you have been uh, listening and participated and you want to hear your audio, if you go to YouTube and do a call at a search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, we'll take you to this recording. And we have been recording since uh, 3.30. And uh, then we'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. So, with all that being said, uh, uh, we got to get out of here and return this frequency back to normal amateur radio use. This is a Kilo, Charlie 9, Victor, Kilo, Victor, clear. A kilo, Charlie 9, Victor, Kilo, Victor, clear. Hey, uh, Jim, real quick before you go. Yes, sir, go ahead. Echo November. Yes, sir, go ahead. Yes, sir, go ahead. Uh, that yes, sir, go ahead. That station up, uh, the new one with the 7300 real well. He's got to go, and uh, I found the best method is to get your manual out and then... Uh, Get on a clear frequency and go through manual with your radio in front of you and kind of go that way. Uh, you're doing really well in the Lancaster, South Carolina. 20 over S9, good audio. And I know you got to run. Thank you, Jim. That's a, a, a good service you provide there, for sure. K4GE, and I'll be clear with you. 73, my friend. Roger, Roger. 73, sir. This is KC9VKV. Clear.